Hi everyone, welcome back to Besame. Today I have come to read you a story. The story is called Jenny Never Did Anything Right. <laughs> Jenny never did anything right. Jenny never did anything right. Her mother would tell her to start the fire. Just as she got the fire going, the wind would come and blow it out. Then her mother would say, Girl, you don't know better. You can't start the fire when the wind is blowing. Sometimes her mother would ask her to look after the pot on the fire. Jenny would stay by the fire, but every time the water would boil out and everything would stick to the pot, her mother would say, Girl, you don't know better. You let the dinner stick to the pot. Jenny would go to get water for the house. The water would splash out as she walked. That made the ground muddy. Then the children would track mud into the house. Her mother would say, Jenny, you are a big girl. Look at the mud. Girl, you can't do anything right. Jenny tried to do things right. However, most of the time, the wind blew out the fire, the water would boil until it spilled, and the children brought mud on their feet into the house. Jenny was not happy. She wanted to do things right. She always tried, but something always happened. One day, she stopped on the way home from school. She sat on the bank under a plum tree. She put her head in her hands. She was thinking about how she could do things right. Suddenly, she saw an old woman sitting beside her. She had a red cloth on her head. Why do you look so sad, little girl? She asked. Because I can't do anything right, said Jenny. The old woman said, I am old, so come and help me. Jenny was a kind girl, so she went to the old woman's house. That house was right beside the road. It was strange that she had not seen it before. The old woman asked her to start the fire. The wind will blow it out, said Jenny. Then shut the door, said the old woman. So Jenny shut the door and the wind did not blow out the fire. The next day, Jenny met the old woman again. Little girl, she said, I am old. Can you look after the pot for me? The water will boil out, said Jenny. Then put more water in the pot or turn the fire down, said the old woman. If I go for more water, it will splash out. It will make the ground muddy, said Jenny. Then do not fill the pan, said the old woman. You can always go again for more water. After a time, Jenny could start the fire look after the pot, and carry water. She could do many things at home. Her mother said, Jenny, you are learning to do things right. Jenny laughed, but she did not tell her about the old woman. She wanted to tell the old woman what had happened. By helping her, Jenny had learned how to do things right. So the next day, she stopped by the bank. The old woman was not there. The house was not there. Jenny thought she might not be in the right place, but the old plum tree was there. She looked around, but there was no one. It was a good thing she had not told anybody about the old woman. Maybe it was a dream, but even if it was a dream, she had still learned to do things right. The end. <laughs> wow, that is a little bit odd that the plum tree was there, but not the old woman or the house, right? Hmm. I wonder what's going on. 
a little bit spooky sounding to me anyway <laughs> i just want to take the time to point out two important things in this story jenny by taking time to help the old woman was able to develop her skills sometimes we need some skills and we can develop those skills just by helping someone else take some time to volunteer and help someone today secondly jenny's mother took time to ridicule her girl you don't know better you can't do anything right but she never took the time to teach her the old woman told Jenny what she needed to do to get the best results. Sometimes we waste too much time ridiculing people. We should just take the time to tell them what needs to be done. It takes the same amount of energy or less just to tell someone what to do instead of telling them what not to do. So remember, volunteer today, make some time and teach don't ridicule i hope you liked that story if you did please remember to click the thumbs up button and share it with your friends and if this is the first time visiting the channel and hearing one of the stories we listened to or read as children in primary school in jamaica please remember to subscribe until next time take care bye bye